HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin for Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty on the call, Matt Clark on camera, and we are ready for the 2019-2020 Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Hockey season. And in today's game, they will open up on the road against the Medfield Warriors, a team that they lost both games against last season. The Hillers certainly looking for some revenge this year. The last time the Hillers hockey team took the ice was at the TD Garden for the state championship where they played very tough against a good Wachusett team, but they did fall in the state championship three to two. They entered the playoffs as the 11 seed at 12, six and two overall went Five and one in the postseason, including a win against Ashland in the South Division Three sectional finals to advance on to the states. And they would make it all the way to the state championship, but unfortunately fall to Wachusett. But what a run it was. As far as Medfield, they made the playoffs as well last year. They went 11, four and five during the season. They entered the South Division II sectionals with the seventh seed, went one and one in the playoffs where they lost in the sectional semifinals to Westwood, three to two. Westwood went on to lose to Canton in the Division II sectional finals. Eric, it was a great run last season, but a lot of those names are back on the roster and this team's ready to go. Yeah, what a great core group they're bringing back. Uh, I think a lot of people thought last year was might be a rebuilding year. Uh, Coaches certainly didn't think that, and it, that certainly showed and what a great run they had. But, uh, yeah, they got that speed and uh, finesse players. The core group is back again this year, so they should have another good run this year. Tough division battle here, taking on Division Two midfield right off the bat. It, a test. it certainly is, and there will be no national anthem ceremony. We're going to get right underway. Sean Walsh was in the faceoff circle for the Hillers. Medfield was in control for a bit, but the Hillers take it back. There's a shot, and it's just wide to the right. On the shot there for the Hillers. Taco. That was Tommy Hamblett, the captain this year, along with Sean Walsh, trying to sneak it in was Walsh. He's checked in to the corner. And now the puck along the near side boards. Medfield trying to take control already. Physical play right off the bat. And these two teams were certainly physical last season. We'll get you the Hopkinton Hillers starters in just a moment as Medfield controls. And now it's quickly taken back and shot up the ice by Gilbert in the corner for Medfield. That's John Schofield now along the near side with the pass down is Michael Tyre in the Hillers territory it goes, controlled by Ronnie Sheamus. The starters for the Hillers, Drew Saporoshitz, a forward, Andrew Gilbert, a defenseman, Sean Walsh in the starting rotation, Kyle Rogers, Tommy Hamlet, and the starting goaltender is Colin Norid for the Hillers. And we are just underway here in the first period. But a minute, 16 seconds in as Pavit Mera trying to take control behind the net. Mera surrounded by a couple of Warriors. That was Aiden Parker and Philip Parker in the territory. Now along the near side, pass over to Aiden Parker. The Hill is with an aggressive forecheck right off the bat here, Tom. There's some good sustained pressure early. They'll force midfield to uh, ice it right off the bat. Both of these teams got going pretty quickly right into the action. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty on the call. Game number one of the Hopkinton Hillers 2019-2020 season here at Medfield's home ice, Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. 
And there's a shot by Berman turned away by a defenseman. Now along the far side, that's Kevin Arthur trying to take control. Pass behind the net over to Cole Curl. Curl's going to be checked into the boards by Carraza. Now here comes Caravan up the near side. Up behind the net it goes. Cam Jarrett trying to get there. The puck is loose. Kevin Arthur trying to gather it up along the corner. He meets up with a pair of Ailers. And now falling to the ice is Cam Jarrett. Up along the near side boards now. And Hopkinson gets it back, racing up the ice, Aiden Walsh. Walsh trying to put the brakes on in the corner. Surrounded by a couple of Warriors. Now Medfield has it back. Pass up by Chris Lawson. Over to the neutral zone it goes. Berman puts it into the Hillers' defensive zone as they try to get set. Now Medfield working it up the near side. Back and forth possession change as we go. Good defensive play out in front of the net by Tommy, by Cam Jarrett. Put a stop to the attempted shot by Michael Tyre. And now up the far side, Cam Jarrett. Around the boards goes the puck. Along the near side corner now, Sean Walsh trying to get to it. Out in front, there's a shot. Turned away, that was off the stick of Rogers. Put back up the ice by Gilbert. And now behind the net. Walsh with the shot, and it is wrapped up by the goaltender. Yeah, nice play by Walsh here, just grabbed the puck. But two players went after Tommy Hamlet and took themselves out of the play, left Walsh all alone. It's not the player you want to leave all alone coming out front. Got a good shot off. Cam Gunta in the net for Medfield in his senior year. Multi-sport athlete for the Warriors. Sean Walsh up against Philip Parker on the face-off in Medfield territory. Squirts back to the neutral zone, controlled by Saperoshitz, puts it up the far side, and now it's taken by Aiden Parker. Parker squirts it around to Cozzolito. Cozzolito with the backhanded pass. That was the caravan who met up with a hiller, the hard-hitting Tommy Hamblett, now behind the net. Pass over to the near side to Vachone. And now in control, Lawson with the pass up. Over to the far side, Saparoshitz gets in there. Hill is really taking an aggressive approach here, Tommy. Uh, deep pinching, making some good plays. It looks like they're going to force midfield. Hill is certainly winning the possession battle here in this first four minutes of action. Around the Hiller's net it goes. Back pass by Gilbert and then slapped up the ice by Saperoshitz. Taken in the corner by Aiden Parker. Parker puts it around to Cozzolito. Cozzolito jammed up in the corner. Now Sean Walsh getting in there. A nice pass by Mara, but Medfield has it. Working it around the boards was Slater Franks. On the far side, Schofield bounces off a hiller into midfield territory. It goes. Harrison O'Brien catches up with it. Now back to the neutral zone. Ronnie Sheamus puts it back into midfield territory. Along the near side, Quinlan. Quinlan looking for the feed from Mara. Gets it back to Mara. Mara with a wrister there, and it's turned away. Almost oh. caught the goalie off guard there. Michael Tyre trying to work it up the far side for Medfield as they're in the midst of a line change. Liam Ladd with the pass over to Harrison O'Brien. Now it's back to the far side corner of Schofield. Now loose puck. Slapped up the far side by Carraza for the Hillers. Now along the near side, Tyre. There's a shot and it's off the post. A near goal there for Medfield. A good shot by Tyre. If that went a hair to the left, that was in. Caught Norrit off guard. Or excuse me, that's Gray Bailey in net for the Ailers. Catching up with it, Cole Curl. So the goalie matchup today, Gray Bailey for Hopkinton. Cam Gayunta for Medfield. A pair of 30s in the net. Up the near side is Carraza. Around the boards it goes. Junta puts a stop to it. The Warriors try to control working up the ice. 
Shauna Walsh meets up with Cole Curl behind the midfield net. Looking for a shot here, and it's turned away. Still a loose puck, and Medfield has it. Cam Jarrett on the initial shot. Hill is really making it tough for Medfield to get that puck out to him. They are just all over them in their end. They're not giving them any outlets. Defensemen are trying to get the puck up the boards, but the Hopkins and D are just crashing and keeping that puck in, doing a really good job. 8.36 left to go in the first period, and I must say the Hillers fan section showed up in big numbers today for the season debut. And Hopkinton continuing to put the pressure on. Over to Gilbert. Hamlet got a piece of it as it wraps around. Over to the far side. Walsh trying to catch up with it. Joe Freeman gets a stick on it for Medfield. Now along the near side, that's Michelle. Taken by Walsh, looking for a shot. And there's a shot turned away. And then trying to get in there for a secondary shot was Hamlet. Good block by Medfield there to save the goal. Walsh trying to risk that one right in. Pass over to Rogers. Rogers trying to feed it to Gilbert. Up the near side it goes. Eight minutes and counting left to go in the first period as we get a whistle here. Well, Hill is starting to pick up with the quality chances there. They were had a couple good chances in front there. The midfield came out. Freeman, defenseman, made a nice block there. Wide open net. But he was able to get his body in front of it. So after the icing, we have a line change for a Hopkinton. Dan Kirk in on the faceoff. Kirk up against Vachon. Over to the corner it goes. It's squirted up and over Dylan Manser. Catching up with it, Ronnie Sheamus. Here comes Sheamus trying to work up the near side. In there with Sheamus is Quinlan, but he will meet up with James Wilder. He's trying to stay on his feet. Now Chris Lawson able to get a piece of it. Looking for a shot here, and it's wide to the right by Kevin Arthur. Slapped up and around by Manser. Up the near side it goes. And into midfield territory, that'll draw the icing. Yeah, Seamus, I think, wishing he had that one back. Sending the puck, trying to go across, looking for his teammate there, but intercepted by midfield, a good play. Faceoff comes with 7.25 left to go in the first period. Scoreless between Medfield and Hopkinton, but it has been an action-packed start to the season for both of these teams. Sean Walsh up against Aiden Paraki on the faceoff. On the far side now. Trying to track it down is Casalito, but getting there first, Kyle Rogers. Rogers showing off the speed. Pass back to Manser, now out in front, loose puck. There's a shot turn away. That was off the stick of Rogers. Hiller is still working in midfield territory. That shot turned away off the stick of Mansur. Now up behind the net it goes. That was just past the reach of Sheamus into Hiller's territory, and that'll draw an icing. Now the Hiller is really getting some good quality opportunities in front. Unfortunately, it's, they're having... Uh, some bad opportunities there with their bouncing off of legs and bodies in front. Midfield's doing a good job of getting in front of the goalie and blocking out. Face off comes with 6.50 left to go. You have to love the pressure that the Hillers are putting on in these early minutes. It looks like they're in midseason form already, Eric. Yeah, practices have gone well. Loose puck over to the neutral zone. And with the slap down there, that was Sam Palmer. There's a hard hit into the boards. That was Cam Jarrett delivering a big hit along it's the far be a side. Penalty there. Yep. That one was a little bit high. Hillers love the power play. So a huge opportunity coming up for the Hillers. Heading to the box for Medfield is Michael Vachon, the junior. One of the key offensive weapons on the Warriors. Last year's games versus Medfield. Medfield took them both. Six to three uh, here at Pirelli Veterans Arena and two to one on the Hillers ice. Hopkinton hoping for some revenge this year. There's a shot by Rogers wide to the left. Walsh able to gather it up and pass it back to Mara. Walsh from the blue line was trying to stick it into the slot to Rogers. Now along the far side, Gilbert. Up behind the net, slapped up in the air by Mara and cleared away. 
And it is going to be caught up with by Gilbert. 127 and counting, left to go on the Hillers power play. Here comes Walsh. Walsh speeding up the ice. Leaves it into the slot. There's a shot turned away. That was off the stick of Rogers, and the goalie lost it. The referee lost sight. Puck was over in the corner. He thought the goalie had it under his pad. The goalie also thought he had it <laughs> under his pad. We'll have another faceoff in midfield territory. Now the key to the hill is on this power play. I think just going to have patience. It looks like midfield is being real aggressive with the kill. So Hopkins has got to be patient with that puck. Get it to the open man. Pavit Mira up against Philip Parker. Along the near side, Walsh. Pass over to Mira. Mira jammed up along the boards. Able to escape with it. Back to Walsh, he goes. There's a pass over from Hamlet. Sears captain, Sean Walsh, Tommy Hamlet. Great contributors to last year's state championship contending team. Rogers up along the far side, here's Hamlet. That one will squirt towards the near side. And we're having offsides here. I think we're gonna get a penalty on the Hillers. Interference. Well, that'll even things out for the next 39 seconds and then Medfield will be on the power play. Heading into the box is Kyle Rogers. Fast paced first period with the uh, limited whistles. Yeah, I was hoping they would kind of ease into it. I'm trying <laughs> to shake off the rust here. Well, tryouts got canceled two days in a row with last week's storms. I think the kids are ready to go. <laughs> they certainly are. Medfield looking for a shot. Tripped up there was Lawson. That'll draw a whistle. There's going to be another penalty on the Hills. That is not what you want if you're Hopkinton. And this is going to set Will. Quinlan to the box. And that was launched into midfield territory. That'll draw another whistle. Problem with the clock. 5.09 left to go in the first period, at least stated by the clock for the moment. It looks like we might have some kind of correction here. Or not. Too bad, it was a good faceoff win too by the Hillers. The puck cleared. Well, they do it again. Up the far side it goes, over to Schofield. Medfield with a man advantage. And that is going to be wrapped up by Bailey. We'll have a two-man advantage in about 10 seconds. Turned away by Bailey. Over to Schofield. Down air side, Wilder. There's a shot turned away. Now jammed up behind the net, Cam Jarrett. Now Medfield has a two-man advantage. Back out there is Vachon. Pass over to Schofield. There's a shot turned away. Nice sacrifice there by Tommy Hamblin getting in front of it. I think he took that off the helmet. Looking for another shot. Wilder. Wide right. Along the corner of a show. 55 seconds and counting left on one of the power plays. Hillers have two in the box. Medfield continuing to put the pressure on and it gets away from Kevin Arthur. Up the boards he goes. This will give the Hillers a little breathing room. 38 seconds left on the first power play and then 43 on the other. Here comes Medfield once again. Michael Tyre is trying to get it in there to Phillip Parker. Some good goaltending so far by Gray Bailey. Out in front and it's turned away by Sheamus. Cazolito with the pass, there's a shot turned away. Sheamus doing a nice job protecting the net. Good stick in the lane there. Walsh along the far side with Aiden Parker. 
That one turned away. There's a shot turned away by Bailey off the stick of Parker. And both power plays have expired. The Hillers first shook off a man advantage and then a two-man advantage. That could be a big momentum swing right there for the Hillers. Up to the near side, Aiden Parker. Behind the net, Gilbert. Meets up with a couple of Warriors. Walsh gets in there. Now here comes Carraza. Carraza bangs it around and now up along the near side. Getting in there for the Hiller is Walsh. And we had a Hiller tripped up there. It looks like we'll have another penalty. This is going to be against Medfield for tripping James Wilder. Ray Bailey, he was huge on that five on three, Tom. He really got tested for the first time in the game with two or three really good stops. Well, if at least the first time these two teams met up last year, it was a very physical game with power play after power play. And so far, that seems to be the case in this one. That game got a little snippy, though. This game hasn't gotten too snippy yet. Here's Rodgers. And that shot turned away off of Schofield. Jammed up along the corner now. Rodgers trying to squirt it out to Mara. He takes a big hit into the boards. Walsh catches up with it. Pass over. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up still loose out in front. And it's turned away by Gunta. Tripped up now is Mara. Trying to get to the puck, and he's tied up with Tyre. Rogers now. Good look there. Yep. Pass over to Sheamus, and we get another whistle here. Offsides. So they got Walsh playing the point on this power play. 125 left on the Hiller's power play. Hopkinton was able to shake off a brief Two-man advantage for Medfield. And now they have the man advantage themselves. Gilbert up the far side. Squirts it over to the near side corner, looking for Mara. Walsh with a shot, and it's wrapped up by Gunta. What the hill is going to keep on doing. One of these is going to get in there. They're getting good shots to the front of the net. Get some sticks on them. David Mare up against Philip Parker. Walsh. Misfire there by Gilbert. Miller's trying to maintain control. Around the net goes Hamlet. Back out to Gilbert. 122 and counting. Left to go in this exciting first period. That shot turned away. Up the near side now. Pass by Lawson into Hiller's territory as Bailey sets it up. Taken by Gilbert. Now here comes Rogers. 40 seconds left on the power play. Walsh trying to work up the ice quickly. A couple Warriors in front of him. And he could not sneak through. Aiden Parakey was able to get the stick in there. Cam Jarrett turns it up to the near side. Hamblet. Over to the slot. Rogers looking for a shot. That was wide to the left. Up behind the net. Now Walsh. The turnaround shot by Rogers ends up going off of a warrior, I believe it was Nolan Franks. Now into Hiller's territory it goes. And another penalty on midfield for a hook. Just when they were about to shake off one penalty, they're going to have to shake off another. That'll send Sam Palmer to the box. So the Hillers will have a two-man advantage for eight seconds, and then for the remaining 152, they'll have a man advantage. 32 seconds left in the first period. And the Hillers fans letting Medfield hear it. A great student section on hand for Hopkinton. They always come out in big numbers to support this team. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers up against Michael Tyre. Over to the neutral zone. Saparoshitz catches up with it. Over to the near side he goes looking for Quinlan. Now up along the boards, Quinlan able to sneak it out. Pass over to Jarrett. Jarrett lets the Hillers get set up in the neutral zone and feeds Weinstock. Weinstock working up the far side, trying to get to it. Saparoshitz now. 
Trying to sneak it out was Kirk. Now here comes Kirk as he was trying to sneak it in towards Weinstock and that'll put an end to the first period of play. Boy, what an exciting start to the season. A very fun and exciting first 15 minutes between these two teams. Eric, I like what I'm seeing out there so far. Yeah, the Hillers, they came out firing on all cylinders and I think they came out going to make a statement. They had a great forecheck to start the period. Uh, they've had some great opportunities. Uh, they're just going to stick with it. And they said they're getting a lot of block shots, but they just keep up that good work ethic in that end, and they're going to get it. Well, we'll start off the second period. The Hillers will have a man advantage for the first minute and 28 seconds. We'll take a timeout. We are scoreless after one between Medfield and Hopkinton and the Hopkinton Hillers varsity hockey season opener on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. We are ready for the second period here in the Hopkinton Aylers Boys Varsity Hockey season opener. And we are currently scoreless between the Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, Matt Clark on camera. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages, they are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Gaylers will start off the second period with a man advantage for a minute and 28 seconds. And there was power play after power play for both sides in that first period. At one point, Medfield had a two man advantage, but the Hillers were able to overcome that and keep the game scoreless. We have switched ends, the Hillers working left to right across your screen. Now coming down the ice is Pavit Mera, a newcomer to the Hillers varsity lineup, a freshman this year. Has a lot of speed and a lot of skill. Should be a fun and exciting player to watch throughout this season. Jammed up along the near side, caught up with by Andrew Gilbert. Pass over to Tommy Hamblett. Hamblett checked into the boards by Wilder. Hamblett trying to escape with it and will. And he'll squirt it around the boards. Sean Walsh waiting for it along the far side. There's Mara with a shot a little bit high there. 25 seconds left on the Hiller's power play. Along the near side corner, Rogers. Rogers met up with John Schofield. Now it's turned up into the neutral zone off the stick of Lawson. Sean Walsh catches up with it. Walsh coming up the ice quickly. A great move there. Back in her goal. Sean Walsh makes it one to nothing. Hillers. Wow, what a move. Well, he knew they weren't going to be able to hold his speed in check for too long. He's usually very good on the power play, taking it end to end, and definitely showed off the skills there. The goal comes with 13.35 left in the second period. And the Hillers start off on the power play and they take advantage. The Sean Walsh show, as we like to call it. Dan Kirk will match up with Philip Parker on the faceoff. How about that move? He had two Warriors in front of him. Got right around him. Got the goalie to open up and slip it right through five hole. Along the near side. Taken by Jarrett. Down the Hiller's net he goes. Trying to feed it around to Toko. And now coming up the ice, Dan Kirk. Here comes Kirk. Kirk with a shot turned away by Gunta. Behind the midfield net now, escaping with it, Casalito. Just misses Sam Palmer, and we'll get an icing here. 
see if the hill is too <clears throat> and take advantage of the faceoffs. They've got some real good set plays. Coaches pay attention to detail and really work on faceoffs during practices. And the Hillers usually have some good set plays that they get a lot of good scoring opportunities off. Dan Kirk in the faceoff circle for the Hillers up against Ben Caravan. Behind the midfield deck comes Caravan. Pass over to Arthur. Knocked back down by Sheamus. Toko gets in there. Slicing it around the net, Nolan Franks. Kevin Arthur with the pass over to Caravan. Getting in there for the Hillers. Kirk, here comes Kirk on a break to the net. Backhander and it's turned away. Kirk with a great poke check at center ice to start that play. Along the near side, Toko trying to slap it down and will. Caravan turns it around for Medfield. Here comes Arthur. Nice move there by Kevin Arthur. And it squirts up into Hiller's territory, caught up with by Cam Jarrett. Around the back of the net, out in front, and it's turned away by Gray Bailey. Now Sheamus, stolen away by Davignon. And that was knocked up in the air and out of play. We'll have a face-off in Hiller's territory. 11.53 left to go in the second period. Hopkinton leading Medfield one to nothing. In the face-off circle for the Hillers is Kyle Rogers. That shot turned away. Nice job there by Aiden Walsh. And we'll have a whistle here. The hand pass. And good block. Two Hillers went out to block that one. Another face off coming as the Hillers will change it up on the ice. Sean Walsh back out there. Walsh with an incredible goal for the Hillers to start off this second period. Saparoshitz just misses Gilbert. Up the near side, pass by Hamlet, looking for Rogers. And we'll have an icing here. The Warriors will have a line change. Walsh up against Parker. Pass up by Casolito. Saparoshitz is there. He'll take a big hit into the boards. And then a hard hit on Philip Parker will draw a whistle. He's going to go for a trip. Things getting a little tense between Andrew Gilbert and Michael Vachon. It'll be Gilbert heading to the box for the Hillers. Gilbert call with the trip and things continuing to get tense and now shooken up for Medfield is Philip Parker. The Warriors weren't too happy about that. Trainer is going to check on Parker. 11-18 left to go in the second period. A 1-0 lead for the Hillers. It looks like they are going to help Parker off the ice. His brother Aiden Parker, one of the Medfield Warriors players in there. Helping the injured Philip off the ice. Certainly hope he's okay. Well, that was a big hit there delivered by Gilbert. Called a trip by the officials and Medfield will have the man advantage for the next couple of minutes. Sean Walsh, Kyle Rogers. Up there for the Hillers along with Cam Jarrett and Ronnie Sheamus. Walsh on the faceoff, Sheamus. That's 
win oh. back there by Walsh. Rogers racing up. And that's interference. And he was trying to get in front of Schofield, and it looks like we're going to have a call here yeah. against Medfield. Schofield heading to the box. He wasn't playing the puck at all. He was just trying to keep Rogers from getting to the puck. Called for the interference. And Rogers tried to jump around him, I think, to make sure the interference was known by the official. And it turned out to be a smart move. Same basketball, he can't box out. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Michael Tyre up against Walsh. Rogers looking for a shot there. That's an unfortunate bounce. Tyre working up the ice, wide left. Along the near side now, Sheamus. Warriors take over, here's a breakaway, backhander, turn away, wide open net, and it's in. Sam Palmer evens this game at one. Unfortunately, Bailey made a great save there. His momentum just carried him a little bit too far out of the net, unfortunately. The goal comes with 10.44 left to go in the second period. Michael Tyre on the initial shot. Sam Palmer with the goal. And Ray Bailey just pulled out of the net there. We are at even strength on both sides now. Both teams have a man in the box. Four on four. Here comes Mira. Back in her end. Hello, Pavit Mira. The freshman makes it two to one. Oh, what a spectacular way to score your first goal. That was a really nice move on the backhand. It's always tough for a goalie to pick that up. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go when it leaves it. Stick. The youngster has moves. And he moves the Hillers back into the lead with 10.27 left to go in the second period. <laughs> there you hear the he's a freshman chant from the Hillers faithful. Mayor up against Parker on the faceoff. Back enter by Cole Curl into midfield territory it goes. Harrison O'Brien catches up with it. Over to Caravan. Pass to the near side, it'll wrap around the boards. And getting in there was Hamlet, but we get a whistle. And another penalty. And this is gonna be, I believe, against the Hillers. Pavin Mira heads to the box. Looks like we're going to end up where we left off last year with these two teams. It started out the first uh, seven or eight minutes went really quick. No penalties, it's up and down play. But. It's starting to get a little physical out there. So Medfield will have the man advantage for the next 57 seconds, and then they'll have a two-man advantage for the remaining minute three after that. Oh, great play by Shane. In the Medfield territory it goes. Parker will track it down for the Warriors. 9.50 and counting left to go in the second period. Medfield looking for a shot here. Pass over to Tyre. And there's a shot. A little bit wide there by Wilder. Walsh could use that speed. And here comes Walsh. Walsh gets around. Backhander turned away by Gota. Now up the far side, Wilder. There's a shot, and that's wrapped up by Bailey. Yeah, Medfield's got to be careful here with that lot of open ice. And the Hillers could take that down the other way with their speed. Medfield with a man advantage for the next 16 seconds, and then they'll have a two man. Dan Kirk up against Parker. Oh. 
Gilbert. Here comes Arthur. And the first pop, the first penalty has expired. There's a shot turned away. And now racing up the ice, Rogers. Rogers on a break. There's a shot, and it's turned away. A good save there by Cam Gota. Medfield with the man advantage for the next 40 seconds or so. Here comes Parker, and that's in. Two to two, what a shot. Pick the corner there. Wasn't on his stick very long, he got rid of it quick. He caught Bailey a little surprised. Bailey Parker evens it out. We have ourselves a game here. The goal comes with 8.36 left in the second period. No goals in the first period, and two apiece here in the second. Tracking it down for Medfield, John Schofield. Joe Freeman gets there, puts it up the ice to tire. Medfield trying to escape their own zone, pass over to Liam Sad. Sad trying to sneak it in. That's turned away by Bailey. On the far side now. Tyre. Getting in there against Tyre was Kirk. And there's a shot, and Bailey will cover it up. Off the stick of Michael Tyre. Still gaining a little momentum here. They're uh, doing what, doing to the Hillers what the Hillers were doing to them in the first period. They're really breaking up the breakouts on the boards, being able to keep that puck in and forcing the play down low. Ben Caravan in on the faceoff for Medfield, Sean Walsh for the Hillers. A two to two game. And that shot turned away. Well, Gray Bailey has certainly been busy in the second period. Pass back over to Schofield and he was across the blue line. Offsides call. Sean Walsh up against Caravan. Here comes Gilbert. Gilbert racing up. That, his shot attempt was denied by Cole Curl. Caravan with the pass up. Over to Lawson. Now back into midfield territory it goes. Pass over by Nolan Franks. Just pass to reach a Lawson. Tracked down by Gilbert. Gilbert leaves it behind for Mansur. Here comes Gilbert. And the Warriors able to take it away. Mansur tracks it down. Well, man, sir, a freshman defenseman for Hopkinton. Pass over by Nolan Franks. Back into midfield territory, slowed up by Gunta. Both teams were changing things up on the ice, and now here comes a break, a shot turned away. That was Philip Parker. Taking it on the far side, Sheamus. Parker catches up with it in the neutral zone. And fed it over to Cozzolito. Now along the near side, Aiden Parker approaching six minutes left in the second period. Out in front towards the slot, and it is taken for the moment by Carraza. Weinstock along the near side boards. Carraza in there as well, getting to it, Philip Parker. And he'll poke it off the boards up to Sam Palmer who slaps it over to the far side. Wide stop. Nice bounce off the boards to get it to Carraza.
Putting it up the ice, Carraza. Casolino. Over to the near side, he goes to Quint. Colin Quint trying to work up the ice past Saparoshitz. They'll meet up along the corner with Saparoshitz. Puck squirts out to the far side. Along the boards, Wilder. And it is taken by Rogers. A good feed over to Hamlet. Hamlet gets tied up and checked into the boards. Looks like he had his arm wrapped up by Schofield. There's a shot, and it is wide left. Saparoshitz. That one shot up into the air off the roof. And that'll draw the whistle out of play. But the Hills are just getting a little bit off their usual game here. They're uh, doing a little bit too much running around. Midfield's taking advantage of that. But I'm sure they'll settle back down, get back to the good four check that was working so well for them in the first period. We'll have a face off for the near side circle in midfield territory. Sean Walsh up against Davignon. There's a shot by Gilbert, loose puck out in front. Hamlet was trying to poke it in. Ended up behind the net. The caravan got to it. Now the boards it goes, Saparoshitz along the far side. Hamlet surrounded by Warriors, and it's taken by Tyre. Pass into Hiller's territory, and Gilbert trying to catch up to it, takes a check into the boards. From Paraki out in front, turned away by Bailey as trying to sneak in there was Liam Ladd. Well, on the far side, here comes Rogers racing up the ice. That's Shot it. and oh. no! I thought that was in. That was close. I'm not sure if that hit the crossbar or what. I never heard, heard iron. Wide right there by Tyre. I thought that bounced off the netting, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, it was definitely no distinctive clink of the uh, the pipe. Do we get a review system in here? <laughs> Saparoshitz. And and a nice move by Rogers too. He came down the side and really picked the only spot he had to put it. I really wonder where that puck went. 341 left to go in the second period off the icing call. Face off in Hiller's territory. 14 up against 14. Dan Kirk matched up with Ben Caravan. Pass around by Mansur to the near side. Bounce off the boards by Mera. Here comes Sheamus up the far side. Pass over to Harrison O'Brien. And now there's a shot and it's turned away. That was Pavit Mera looking for his second goal of the game. And then he nearly got to it once again along the near side. Yeah, looks like he's going to be a key player in the offense this year. He's got a real good shot, good instincts. I wonder if we'll ever see uh, hit him on the same line as Walsh. All kinds of speed. Here comes Mera again. And Dalen Mansur could not get it straightened out as he raced into the slot. He's lost his balance, but great play there again by Mero with a nice pass over the answer. Well, I think we know who to look out for this year. Another good pass in front. Misfire there by Kirk. Along the far side, Caravan. Shoots it up off the glass. And it squirts out. From along the near side, up as it went off of Manser, Weinstock working his way up the ice. Taken by Schofield. Now here comes Parker. Parker surrounded by Hillers. Good back check by Walsh. Aiden Walsh was able to play keep away. Approaching two minutes left to go in the second period. And what a second period it has been. You thought the first period was exciting. How about this second period? Yep. Hellers will be on the power play again as a cross check. And there you heard it. Hellers power play. This would be a real good opportunity for the Hellers to take back control in this period. They, uh, the midfield had the better of the first half of that period, but the Hellers starting to come back. And a minute and a half left here if they can put in a power play goal here. To turn the tide back in their favor. 
Phillip Parker heads to the box for Medfield. Hillers with the man advantage. We have Walsh quarterback of the power play from the point again. Pavit Mera on the faceoff. Walsh. There you go, Mara and Walsh out there together. Over to Gilbert. Walsh was trying to feed it in. Back to Gilbert. And a Walsh. Here he comes, racing up the ice, trying to put the moves on. That time denied by Caravan. Gilbert meets up with Tyre. That's up to Hamlet. Rogers. Back to Walsh. Gilbert with the one-timer turned away. Pokes it around the boards, looking for Hamlet. Less than a minute left to go in the second period. A two to two game. A minute left on the Hillers power play. There's a shot and it's just a little high. Change directions twice coming in. Walsh over to Mira. Now here's Gilbert once again. At that time, he puts it off a diving aid in Parker. There's a shot turned away off the stick of Gilbert. Hamlet gets in there and we'll have an icing call here. Or will we? Still short handed. 20 seconds left in the period. So we'll have a brief man advantage to start the third. As long as there's no goal, of course. Here's Hamlet. He flicks it off the boards. Behind the midfield net it goes and we have a whistle. Sure, why they're calling the face off outside here. Yeah, I'm not, not quite sure what that was about. 4.7 seconds left to go in the second period. 14 seconds left on the Hillers power play. Hillers had an extra man out there on the ice. And that'll do it for the second period. Nice last second shot attempt there by Saperoshitz, but it is going to end two to two at the end of two. What an exciting period that was, Eric. Yeah, so the Hillers they had a little bit slow start there. Midfield kind of had the uh, better of the opportunities, but the Hillers came back at the end of the period. They started to take momentum back. The final 15 minutes is coming up, and you're certainly not going to want to miss it. An instant classic to open up the season for the Medfield Warriors and the Hopkinton Hillers. Two to two at the end of two. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call for Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Hockey, the season opener. On the road against the Medfield Warriors, a two to two game, all four goals. We're scored in the second period. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street or online at hopdent.com. There's a shot turned away. Getting in there for the Hillers was Tommy Hamblett. And we are underway in the third period. The nine seconds left on the Hopkinton power play has expired. Warriors with possession as James Wilder puts it over to the far side. Well, an exciting second period after a scoreless first period. Sean Walsh scored at 13.35 left for the Hillers to put them up one to nothing. 
And then it was Sam Palmer responding for Medfield, followed by the freshman, Pavit Mera. For the Hillers at 10-27, left to make it 2-1. Then Medfield with another goal by Phil Parker with 8.36 left, and that's where we are at, 2-2. Two two. Along the near side. Pass up by Mansur into Medfield territory. The Hiller is working right to left across your screen in this period. Well, nice and keep in there by Mansur. Yep. Up into the air it goes, over to the near side boards. Gathered up by Mansur. He was looking to get it to Kirk. Back to Hiller's territory. Bailey sets it up and it's taken by Sheamus. At the far side he goes. Collecting for Medfield, Casalito. Kirk. Pass up and around. Casalito feeds it across to Ladd. Sheamus. Drawing some pushes from Eden Paraki, able to keep control. Sheamus catches up with it. He's trying to feed it up to Kirk, but Ladd got in there for Medfield. Eden Parker catches up with it. Here comes Caravan, and Caravan takes a hard hit from Carraza. Mira feeds it across over to Jarrett. Mira showing some real good hockey sense there. Jarrett could not keep the puck in his possession. Ended up behind the net. Caravan got to him. There comes Lawson for Medfield. We'll draw a push from Mira. Aiden Walsh feeds it around. And it's flipped up by Cam Jarrett in the midfield territory. Both That'll draw the icing. Both teams having a tough time right now maintaining control of the puck. And their balance. <laughs> we'll have a faceoff in the Hillers zone. 11.51 left to go in this game. A tight game like this, what it comes down to is just minimizing mistakes. So the team that makes the least amount of mistakes here is you want to come out on top. You just want to be careful in your own end. First line's back in there for both sides. Walsh, Gilbert. Rogers trying to feed it up. Hamlet is trying to dig it out. There's a shot by Gilbert wide to the right. Walsh. Walsh cannot gather it up. It's taken by Schofield. That bounced off the boards as he had Rogers coming down the middle. Behind the net is Wilder. Here comes Parker. Goes wide right there. Bailey tried to wrap it up. Saperoshitz was there. Walsh on a break. Here he comes. And he was trying to feed it to Rogers. Okay, just got a stick on that pass. Along the far side. There's a pass up by Saperosh. It sends up off of Palmer. What a bouncing puck. Certainly is. Off of Rogers. Rosalito will catch up with it. Over to the near side of Tyre. There's a shot wide to the right. On the far side, there's Sheamus. Jameis working it up the ice. And he'll meet up with two Warriors in the corner. Out in front, oh. Quinlan, and in! What a beautiful pass. Will, Will Quinlan was just waiting for it. Mira got down there, he was able to fight in that corner, and get that puck out, and put it right on the stick. Three to Quinlan. two Hillers, 10-24 left to go. Talk about the mistakes here. Medfield failed to take him out of the play. He had him in the corner, and Mira was able to fight it off. Joe Carraza in the face-off circle for the Hillers. Let's 
Saraza off the goaltender. Around the boards goes Aiden Walsh. Stock met him with a couple of Warriors there. Into Hiller's territory. Sheamus catches up with it. In the corner, that's Slater Franks for Medfield. Now escaping with it up the near side was Walsh. Slapping it back down into Hiller's territory. Cole Curl. Mansur with the pass just past the reach of Aiden Walsh. Kevin Arthur puts it behind the net. O'Brien. He met up with Aiden Walsh. The four check by Walsh. What the Hillers need to do here is slow down midfield. Sheamus over to Walsh. Sean Walsh to feed towards Cam Jarrett. Back to the near side it goes as Chris Lawson loses his footing. There's a shot by Berman turned away. Hamlet trying to dig it out. Getting in there for Medfield, Chris Lawson. Lawson will put it up the boards and they'll draw the icing. 8.43 left to go in the third period. The Hillers leading Medfield 3-2 in the season opener. Are at their best when they have that real aggressive forecheck and doing a good job of keeping midfield down but pinned down behind their own net. Sean Walsh up against Philip Parker. Rajarin, and that is wrapped up by Gota. Warriors will switch up three. Walsh goes up against Aiden Paraki this time. He gets kicked out of the face off. Michael Tyres in. In the Hillers territory, tracked down by Jarrett. Over to Berman. Stuck over in the corner and Walsh digs it out. Taken by Wilder. Here comes Wilder on a break and he flips it too high. On the far side there's a shot by Schofield and wrapped up by Bailey. We'll have a face off. In the Hillers zone. Sean Walsh up against Parker. Or excuse me, that is Dan Kirk. Saparoshitz trying to get it over to Gilbert. Slices it up the near side to Quinlan. Will Quinlan had the go ahead goal, looking for a break here. Puts it up and around. Tracked down by Saperosius, there's a shot and it's gloved by Gunta. Those lines had some real good opportunities. Nice shot from the blue line by Saperosius. And we'll reface off. 7.51 left to go in the third period. Pazolita goes behind the net. There's Paraki. Back to Hiller's territory. And that'll draw the ice. Play smart hockey now. 
the puck down deep in the quarters, let their forecheck do the work. And give midfield an opportunity. Raz up against Caravan. Weinstock was trying to escape with it. Here comes Chris Lawson. Bailey will set that up for Sheamus. Up the far side of Weinstock. He'll, he'll flip it off the boards. Sheamus. Taken by Cazalito. No one there on the pass attempt. Aiden Walsh tripped up. Chris Lawson gets into the neutral zone. Medfield looking for a break, but Joe Carraza has something to say about that. Wrapped around by Aiden Walsh. Miller is changing things up. Rogers steps in and slices it up the ice. And we have an offsides. 6.38 left to go in this game. A 3-2 lead for the Hillers. It doesn't look like Midfield's really sensing uh, any urgency at the moment. So the Hillers going back on their heels. Midfield looking maybe a little bit tired out there. They don't have uh, the same type of speed that they showed in that second period. Walsh. Nice moves by Sean Walsh, looking for a break. Walsh was looking for Hamlet coming down the slot. Hamlet just sliced that one towards the net, and that'll force the wrap by Gunta. Well, Hill is doing a good job keeping the play down midfield's end. Looks very similar to what they were doing in the first period. Dan Kirk in on the faceoff for the Hillers up against Aiden Paraki. In the corner it goes. Saparoshik turns it up. Andrew Gilbert trying to get in there. Quinlan is tripped up along the near side and it is taken briefly by Tyre. Over to the Hiller's zone. Saparoshitz with a backhander to Quinlan. And now here comes Gilbert. Gilbert. In. There's a shot and a glove save. They're keeping Gunta busy. Aiden Walsh, Joe Carraza, and Jake Weinstock back into the game. Weinstock, shot turned away. Goes off the stick of Aiden Walsh. Over to the near side now, back to the blue line. Gilbert with a shot, looking for five all. And it's just wrapped up. Hill is really dominating now, especially in the faceoffs. They're doing a great job in the faceoff wins, gaining possession. And you know, keep that puck down in midfield, not letting them get any chances going the other way. If that shot was a hair lower, that was in. Graz up against Parker. Saparosha is trying to track it down as Sam Palmer was tripped up. Poke it off the boards. Parker getting in there off the stick of Bailey behind the net. Gilbert. Good puck distribution up the near side, Aiden Walsh. He takes a hard hit from Fashone, and we have a whistle. There's an elbow to the head. And this is going to be a Hiller's power play. Fashone will sit in the box for a couple minutes. Just an undisciplined play there. You're down by one. The last thing you want to do is be taking a penalty like that. No 
Elbow to the head is the call. And the Hillers have the man advantage. Michael Vachon not happy. will be on the faceoff for the Hillers. They'll make that Pavit Mira. Walsh. Over to Hamlet. There's a shot turn away. Mira. Back to Walsh. Shot by Gilbert. We'll wrap around. Mira leaves it for Gilbert, and it is wrapped up. Real good passing by the Hillers there. Sean Walsh showing some real good heads up play there. He puck came over to him instead of taking a shot with midfield defenseman, uh, well, wing it right in front of him with a potential block going the other way. He passed it right back over. And another good shot for the Hillers on net. Medfield running out of time, 423 left. Pavit Mira on the faceoff for the Oilers. Rogers wraps it around. Hamlet feeds it down, and here's Mira. Walsh. Pass to Gilbert. Gilbert's tripped up. Fans looking for a tripping call there. Back to Oilers territory. Walsh with a push. Walsh able to knock Sam Palmer right down. Back into midfield territory. Hiller is dominating possession so far in this third period. Midfield looking frustrated here. They've got to be careful. They're going to find themselves back in the box. 50 seconds left on the Hiller's power play. 3.39 left to go in the game. Pavit Mira up against Michael Tyre. Timeout. And it looks like we'll have our first timeout of the game. 3.39 left to go. 50 seconds left on the power play. And the Hillers leading Medfield 3-2 on HK. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Off the timeout, 3.39 left to go. Pavid Mira on the faceoff for the Hillers. Power play in favor of Hopkinson for the next 45 seconds. Walsh. Playing keep away here. Over to Gilbert. Hillers pull their goalie for the moment. Midfield's going to go. This is what we're talking about. They're getting real frustrated, getting undisciplined, taking another penalty away from the puck. They pulled their goalie because of the delayed penalty, and now Michael Tyre in the box. It'll be a two man advantage for the next 24 seconds, and then a man advantage after that for the remaining minute 36. 3.13 left in the game. And the Warriors just seem to be falling apart, Eric. Yeah, and it's the, uh, the Hillers' dominance of that period just really brought out the frustration. 
Gilbert. Mira, Walsh. Back to Mira, they're trying to set something up here. There's a shot, Love save out in front, and it's turned away. Hamlet was able to get a little secondary shot on it, wide left. Goes Gilbert. Mira. It's a man advantage now for the Hillers. Just misses Walsh. Along the near side. Hamlet with the pass up to Rogers. Good feed to Mira. There's a shot and it's turned away. And short side, he didn't miss by much. And that shot turned away. That was off the stick of Aiden Paraki. You got a good one. Here comes Mira. And that shot turned away. And Gute able to get the stick on it and push it a little further. Quinlan wraps it around. 48 seconds and counting left on the Hillers power play. Mira. Aiden Parker stepped in the way to get a piece of that one. Trying to feed it over towards the slot. It's taken by Aiden Parker. Up the near side he comes. There's a shot wide to the left. Minute 37 and counting left to go in the game. 20 seconds on the power play. On the far side, Sheamus pushes it up towards the neutral zone. Warriors starting to get a little momentum. Sheamus leaves it behind towards Quinlan. Flips it off the netting and that is out of play. We'll have a face off in the Hillers zone. Think you should have been a little more aggressive there getting the puck up. I'm trying to go high off the glass to get it out there. Just a little bit too much on it. Look for probably after this power plays over in two seconds here for Medfield to pull the goalie. And it looks like we're going to have another timeout prior to the faceoff. <laughs> Coach is probably going to go over that with him right now. Hillers three, Medfield two. Two seconds left on the power play. A minute 15 left in the game. Can the Hillers hold on to the lead and take a win in their first game of the season? Find out next on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Off the timeout, a face-off in the Hiller zone. We'll pull the goalie right now, Tom. Medfield has taken their goalie out of the game. Walsh up against Parker. Vlad leaves it for Casalito. Up the ice it goes, off the stick of Rogers, and we'll have an icy. A minute three left to go. up against Philip Parker. Big face off win there by Walsh. And Sir wraps it around. Out in front. There's a shot and it's turned away. Less than a minute left to go. Around the boards into midfield territory. Schofield catches up with it. It's up to Parker. Parker lost his stick. Walsh turns it up the ice, going towards the net. And it's wide to the left. Cozzolito with possession. Just to that snow to keep that one from icing. <laughs> yep. Schofield 
Over to the far side, uh, Ladd. Flipped up the ice by Walsh. Pass to Vachonne. Four seconds left. And that'll do it. A three to two win for the Hopkinton Hillers to start off the season here at Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. They take down the Medfield Warriors. The Hillers grabbing two points in their first game of the year. A nice three to two win over Medfield. And Eric, that's a great way to start off the season if you're Hopkinton. It is. I mean, it looks like they're you know, starting the season right, right where they finished off last year. Like you said, they look like they're in mid-season form already. Uh, played a great solid game, great forecheck, and played defense when they had to. Bailey came up with some big saves. Your goal scorers for Hopkinton, Sean Walsh, Pavit Mira, and Will Quinlan as they grab the 3-2 win over the Medfield Warriors in game number one of the 2019-2020 season. For Matt Clark on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Cardi, I'm Tom Nappy, the final score for the final time. The Hillers over Medfield, three to two. A whole lot more Hillers hockey to come all winter long. Thanks for tuning in on H-Camp. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.